Welcome back friends and we are heading north today into a cold snowy wasteland as today's episode we'll be looking at how to do tundra. So grab your snow shovels, your skis and your hats and let's get started. Okay so this is the base that we're going to be building up and this is a example of what we're going to be going for. So it's going to be a snowy so tundra base and what we're going to need first of all is our astrogranite technical paint from games workshop or equivalent of i'm going to pop that out and we're also going to grab some cork chunks and then with them we're going to stick onto the base using just like a bit of either PVA glue or I'm just going to use a little bit of super glue just so that um, it dries quicker and we can get to it quicker and just like that we've stuck them on to the base um, so I just grabbed like a, a little selection of different sizes and just use some super glue just to get them on really nice and quick so we're going to grab a really knackered brush oh, I don't even really want to call this a brush anymore it's more just like a stick um, and I'm just going to scoop lots of this onto the base and it's going to work it in towards our little rocks and then this is going to provide a really lovely texture onto our base this is going to take a bit of time um, what I tend to do if I'm painting more of a um, Oh, like a kind of like a, an urban sort of rocky scape um, I mix some little bits of rocks in with this paint and that provides another second kind of texture to it it makes it look really really good uh, so I'm just going to carry on with this and then I'm going to leave it to dry and then we're back for the next step um, but also as well when this stuff does dry you can go back over it if it's not um, if it's not too raised or if it's too flat for you then you can always just kind of plop on another layer or two it just takes quite a little while drying so just be prepared for that all right now that is dry and looking pretty good our next step we're going to grab a nice big fat brush and some storm vermin fur and we are going to make a nice coat of storm vermin all over the base. I uh, might want to water this down just a little bit just to help with the flow and get into all the cracks and crevices. And it's very similar in grey to the um, oh, what's it called? Astrogranic grey <laughs> that we had put on underneath which is what we want because it helps to keep the theme of the stonework being all, all grey um, and it won't look that bland once we get the snow on top but that will come later so I'm going to do this and then I'll be back with the next step which is just to build up the different layers of grey to kind of a, a light grey and then um, doing the final touches well that didn't take too long at all so the next we're going to be introducing some administratum grey or any kind of white grey that you have and then we're going to do a 50-50 mix of the two hmm should I use this brush yeah we'll use this brush for the time being and this is going to be a heavy dry brush over the top 50-50 mix and will start like this. Just nice long strokes up and down to start with. And once we're done with this we'll then leave it to dry a little bit and then we'll introduce a little bit more lighter grey and just gradually build it up over a couple of dry brushing coats. Once we've done that, we'll move on to one of the final steps. 
Right, so towards the end I did add a splash of white scar into the mixture just to make it a real proper nice bright grey. Um, and then of course I've just gone round the outside just to give it a nice clear, uh, clean black frame. And you could just leave it as, as it is at the minute, just like these lovely boys. Uh, so this is how I did my Night Lords basing. And yeah, it's just a quick, simple, just kind of ruined grey ash kind of almost urban wasteland. So you could just leave it as that, or you can continue like we are today with the snow. So we're going to make it snow. And for that, we are going to need snow. And the best one I've found so far is the Valhalla Blizzard. Uh, Citadel technical point. So, slam that down. And I'm going to need a very knackered brush, like this one for example. And we are going to just apply lots and lots of blobs. And again, don't have to go neat and tidy, you can just go and put down as much as you want because it's your world and if you want it really really snowy then by all means emptying the entire pot onto the base if you want like more of a, a light frosting then yeah just kind of add a few little blobs here and there doesn't really matter overly too much but so long as you can convey the sense of, of chilliness and cold then you're winning so I'm going to do this for a little mo, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just add the final little detail, which I'll probably do right this moment. Which are these really lovely sheets of adhesive little sticky back uh, tundra snow flocks. So just going to blob a couple here and there, and maybe one there. Give it a good firm little push. Maybe one just on the edge. About there. And why not one in the middle there? Oh, I can get so carried away with this. <laughs> I'm just gonna. St I'm gonna. Right. That's that's the last one that's going there. Okay. So back to snow. Now that we've got a little bit of vegetation and that just adds, I don't know, to me it just adds a little little extra something that you, you've gone the extra step just to really make the, the base come to life. And we're just going to lob, really scoop it. I could do it almost like a little spoon or something just to get in and scoop it all out and then smush it in. But I don't have one. Never mind. Oh, onto the base. Wipe it off. But anyway, I'm going to continue to let it snow. I'm going to leave it to dry. And then I'll show you the final result in a minute. So here we have it, the finished result of episode number three. Uh, it's an Arctic Tundra style base. So I really hope that you have all learned something new and enjoyed this video and if, if you did you know share it around with your friends drop a like and a comment and subscribe if you are new it, it, it helps a lot it's, it's just the little things and it does go a long way if you did enjoy this video uh, you can find stills of this model over on my instagram page at lynch paints and if you wanted to pick up some of the basing materials that were used today head on over to Wayland Games via my affiliate link in the description below. That would be fantastic and a little bit goes towards me and it just goes back to the channel so I can do uh, more videos like this and uh, get more models and just show you how I paint all these things. Um, so until next time, take care, stay safe, stay beautiful and we'll see you soon.